I'm Professor Prototype, and welcome to the Invention Dimension. This video series will help you learn more about the invention process and to recognize the skills within you you need to become an inventor. The steps of the invention process are identifying a problem, understanding and researching your problem, brainstorming and designing your ideas, building your prototype, testing your prototype, and communicating your invention to the world. Today, we're talking about problems. We know problems are everywhere. Big problems, like cleaning up the oceans, and smaller problems, like how to spread peanut butter on a piece of bread without tearing the bread apart. Problem seeking is the first step to finding an interesting problem to solve. The more specific one can be about their problem, the more focused the solution will be. For example, Someone might say their problem is that their back hurts. To solve this problem, inventors need to know more. They ask questions like, when does your back hurt? How often? What are you doing when your back hurts? The more questions you ask about a problem, the closer you will be to solving it in a new and innovative way. Throughout history, inventors have been motivated to create because they want to improve the lives of others or to solve a problem, either by building a product or starting a business. Their eyes and minds are open. Thomas Anderson wanted to bring electricity to every home and community. He realized that existing light bulbs burned out too quickly and there was no system to deliver electricity to homes. So he set out to solve this problem and today we can thank him that we're no longer stuck in the dark. Inventors might even be inspired by nature, like Swiss engineer George de Mistral. He took his dog for a walk and discovered prickly burrs stuck to his dog's fur. He decided to take a closer look at these prickly burrs to see how they were sticking so well on his dog. Aha! The burrs have small hooks at the end of each needle. This inspired him to create what we use to fasten all kinds of items together today. Velcro! Today, you're going to be introduced to different people who have a lot of different problems that need to be fixed. You'll see firsthand how to generate and identify problems to solve. Let's go out and see what problems we can uncover today and how others find them. My problem is that when I wash my socks, I can't get them wide enough. My problem is that I get headaches when I use pointy tails. My fresh produce goes bad in my refrigerator. My problem is my skin gets irritated when I wear some jewelry. My problem is I can never find shoes that fit me. My problem is I slouch and I hurt my back. So I think that my biggest problem is that first thing every morning, my cat comes into my bed to try to wake me up for breakfast. And if I could solve one problem, it would be how to keep my cat out of my bed. Well, I was playing my cello and my fingers are really hurting and I really wanted to stop. And I thought, do other people have this problem? So I asked around and it turned out a lot of the kids at my school had this problem. And some adults even quit their string instruments because of this problem. So I thought, I should invent a solution. The problem that I had was that my dog was very messy and he still is to this day. And whenever he would eat, he would leave a big mess around his bowl and all the food would lie on the floor. So I. For my invention convention, I wanted to um, solve the, that problem. Every time my brother blew his nose, he would leave his dirty tissue on the table in front of him, which was disgusting. And I found out that there are 100,000 germs in a single sneeze, so they're about the same in a used tissue. And if there's a pile of four or five used tissues, there's about half a million in germs in it. It's disgusting, and my mom shouldn't have to clean up the my brother's dirty tissues. Last year I visited my cousin's place during Thanksgiving break and I noticed that he would play differently and communicate differently and I did not know why. Every day he would wake up in the middle of the night and cry and his parents used to try and console him. I was re really interested on why this was happening so when I came back home I researched more on why this was happening. I figured out that he had ASD, Autism Spectrum Disorder, and he has sleeping disorder, which over 80% of autistic children suffer from. I looked at medicines and inventions that were already there, but the reviews showed that medicines were too addictive and not safe for long term, and those inventions couldn't actually pinpoint the problem that they had. So that is why I created the Sleep Ninja. My invention, the No Prime Pumpkin, solves the problem 
of when you leave out a bowl of Halloween candy out on your front porch, someone ends up stealing all the candy. Um, and the solution I made to this problem is a design that only gives two pieces of candy out to each trick-or-treater. An everyday problem that I see is burning my toast every day. If we had a see-through toaster, you could see exactly how much char was on your toast. Every single time, it would come out perfect. My problem uh, seeking process has developed, um, and I actually talked about this when I presented at the Student Merit Awards, um, that it was one of the first moments in which I'd really started to see the world as a designer. I walked into the pet store and I was looking at the time for a junior project because we all had to come up with our own housewares project of some sort. And so I walked into the pet store, I saw the hamster cages, and I swear they were just begging to be redesigned <laughs> because they were terrible, they needed to be changed. Uh, there were so many issues with it. Um, and so that ended up being my junior uh, project for my one class was redesigning a hamster home um, and it was nothing that I had ever imagined possibly solving but now as I walk around day to day I just see things where I'm like oh that's really great designer oh wow this could be so much improved in this way or this way or this way um, but the other interesting thing about the problem seeking process is that there's so many different ways to go about it too because you could look at designing for a specific niche market and solving a problem that will only really help a specific segment of people or you could try to go something where it's this is just better design for every one. And there's pros and cons to both uh, processes, um, but it's, it's, it's really fun once you start noticing things. Remember, inventors and innovators look closely, ask lots of questions, and always pay attention to the world around them. They challenge the way things exist, and they look outside of the box for solutions. They think about how to make something work better or invent something new. Problems are everywhere. Start problem seeking today to identify an interesting problem and activate your problem solving skills.